everyone, I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be telling you all my personal top 10 favorite themes of all time. These exclude licensed sets, so these are top 10 all Lego original themes. So let's get started. So again, I'd just like to say these are my personal favorites. I know at least a couple of these will probably make some people angry. I'm not saying they are the greatest ones ever created, they're just the ones I enjoy the most. And and number 10 I think will be very surprising to a lot of people because I have never really spoken about this theme before and it's because I really don't have a lot from this theme. So coming in at number 10 we have Lego Studios. This is actually currently one of the only examples of the theme I have in my collection but I actually really love this set because it's kind of on the rare side. It's an orange Tyrannosaurus Rex and I really loved this theme growing up. My brother had quite a few sets from this series but all of the monsters and vampires and different sets that you could build. We had the Steven Spielberg set. Loved the movie maker aspect. That was crazy technology for the early 2000s. This theme was only around I think between 2000 and 2001. So not a super long series but the sets are incredible. Unfortunately they're hard to get or expensive if you can get them but it is something I would eventually like like to add more up to my collection because of how original the sets were. At number nine we have Vikings, another short-lived theme only between 2005 and 2006. They really should have done more sets for this series. I am so happy to have this set and one other small set from the Vikings theme and I was really excited to hear about the Vikings Ideas set that's supposed to be coming out pretty soon. Looks really great and is actually at a pretty affordable price so definitely excited about that one. But I don't know why there's only a handful of Viking sets and that Lego has never revisited this theme after this 2005-2006 series. It seems like such an easy simple concept that kids and adults would both like. Definitely an iconic part in Lego history. For number eight we have Belleville. You all should just be super happy that I did not put this higher up on the list than number eight. This theme existed from 1994 to 2008 eight which is a super long time. 14 years, which Lego Friends hasn't even been around for 14 years yet, so it was definitely a well-liked theme or would not have lasted for so long. This series had unbelievable use of color. I picked just a random example here. I thought stuff like this glitter translucent purple roof piece was super cool. A translucent red and green crown come in this set. Medium green Green is a pretty rare and unique color. You don't really see that in regular Lego sets, as well as things like this dark violet color. And parts like this translucent clear goblet or translucent green jug, incredibly rare and useful between regular Lego and Belleville. I am almost afraid that I have advocated too hard for Belleville as it has become almost impossible to get most Belleville sets today. I'm not saying I had sole responsibility for that but I feel like I may have talked it up to the point that a lot more people have come to like Belleville than maybe would have before I started talking about it. But I do love it and that's why it did make the list at number eight. For number seven we have Classic Town. Classic Town existed from around 1978 to around 2005. There's a little bit of a gray area between the end of Classic Town and the start of City. This is just one example I have in my collection of a classic town set. It was a long-running theme. I miss it so much. City doesn't even come close to comparing to the magic and nostalgia of classic town. I am particularly fond of 80s classic town. If I had to specify just a little bit deeper, I love the original use of these kind of primary colors, the four stud wide vehicles, and simplistic minifigures. And I dream one day of being able to set up all of my classic town sets together as it's probably one of the themes I own the most of. So a solid number seven for Classic Town. For number six, I have Paradisa. Paradisa technically falls under Classic Town, but I feel like it deserves its own listing because it's totally different than anything else in Classic Town. Paradisa was only around for a few years between 90 
92 and 97. I didn't get into Lego until 98, so I missed Paradisa entirely and have spent many years trying to get as many of the Paradisa sets as possible. I love Paradisa pink, as well as this really unique light green color that you can find in base plates and other parts throughout this series. The use of color really reminds me of Belleville in that they wanted these sets to look different than standard Lego. And while I don't think that's necessary for the girl-oriented themes, I do always appreciate getting rare and unique colors in a set. And I'm a little over halfway of completing this series and hope to someday in the future finish completing Paradisa. At number five, we have a real true classic of pirates. Regular pirate sets have existed from 1989 to around 2015. There have been a couple of exceptions since 2015, like the Eldorado Fortress that was just released this year, but 2015 was kind of the last year we had pirates as a regularly released theme. It is so hard to believe it has been that long, and I really hope it makes a comeback at some point in the not too distant future. Of course, my heart truly lies with the earlier end of pirates between 1989 and the mid-90s. To me, that feels like the golden era of Lego pirates, and I spend a lot of time looking through bulk lots trying to complete vintage pirate sets. So that's why Pirates is number five for me. At number four, we have Space, another large, all-encompassing kind of theme. This theme existed from around 1978 to around 2013. Again, we've had some random sporadic space sets since 2013, but that was the last time we were getting regularly released space sets that were their own theme. I know sometimes City puts out space-related sets, but they technically fall into the City category. It is hard to believe that it's been 10 years since we've had a space specific theme like Emtron or Insectoids, Life on Mars or something like that. We haven't had any of that in a decade and that honestly just blows my mind. So here's wishful thinking for 2024 that a new space series will be released. Until then I'll continue looking for bulk lots that include space sets and add to my collection that way. Now to my top three. At number three we have Western. This is another one that I figured would probably surprise a lot of people as I don't talk about it a whole lot. This series originally came out around 96 and then they also re-released some of the sets in 2002. It's another wildly unique series, kind of like Vikings, where they really didn't do anything similar before or after this, other than maybe the Lone Ranger series, but I believe that was based on a movie and not a Lego original, if what I googled is correct. I doubt we'll ever see anything similar to this again, although Although I can wish for it and hope for it because I did love this series as a kid. The minifigures were amazing and the builds were realistic while also being fun. Definitely a bright spot in LEGO history and that's the reason it made it into my top three. For number two we have Castle. I expect a lot of people believe this is probably what my number one would be and it is a tough choice and depending on the day my number one and Castle might alternate but at this current moment it is my number two favorite theme. Castle existed as a regular theme between around 1978 and 2013. It's kind of interesting that both Castle and Space seem to end in 2013 with pirates following closely behind in 2015, three of the most classic themes LEGO has ever produced. Of course there have been some outliers like the Lion Knight's Castle that was recently released, but again as a regularly releasing theme it ended back in 2013, 10 years ago. I would would absolutely love to get a new castle faction or a reboot of an old castle faction in the near future. I just feel like Lego hasn't been the same since they stopped producing that theme. And castle sets are something I'm always on the hunt for. Every series within castle is absolutely fantastic. They're all so unique. I really just can't say enough good stuff about it. So let's see number one. For number one, my top favorite theme is adventurers. These are just a couple of smaller examples I have in my collection. I couldn't get to my larger ones at the moment as they're in storage, but I love all four sub themes of adventurers. Here we have Orient Expedition and Desert. There's also Jungle and Dino Island. This theme had amazing larger figures that don't exist in any other theme, unique minifigures, rare animals like this yellow parrot, and beautiful 
beautifully printed parts. This was one of the very first themes I had as a kid, specifically desert adventurers, and I think that's why it holds the number one place in my top 10 list. It was only a theme from 1998 to around 2003, which is hard for me to believe that it's been 20 years since it was discontinued, but given the opportunity to only bring back one theme, I would choose adventurers, and I would hope that it would somewhat stylistically resemble the original, and I would quite honestly take any of the four sub themes because they were all incredible. So there you have my top 10 favorite themes of all time that are Lego originals. I would also like to give a couple of honorable mentions. I particularly loved Hidden Side when it was out. I think they could have done a lot with that theme had it been given more of a chance. And then the other honorable mention is the holiday sets. Every year Lego releases one large Christmas themed set. They usually do a couple of smaller ones as well, but those have been a long running favorite for me too. Those two just didn't quite make the top 10 cut. So I'd love to hear what your top three favorite Lego original themes would be. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra videos and content, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. See you all next time.